F1 returns to Spain and it, the setting is the European Grand Prix here in Valencia. We are having five laps of this Valencia, well, European Grand Prix here in Valencia. The lap record is a 135.800 for all the facts there. No chance of rain here in the European Grand Prix and the Stalin grid is about to come up for who is going to be on pole. It is Mark Webber on pole from Sebastian Vettel, from Heke Kovalainen, from Barrichello, from Lewis Hamilton, from Combined YouTuber, then Alonso, then Heifel, then Jensen Button and McLaren, then 10th for the Ferrari of Felipe Massa, 11th Maldonado, 12th Nico Rosberg, 13th Mark Schumacher, 14th Perez, 15th Al Jazeera, 16th Kamui Kobayashi, 17th Petrov, 18th Buemi, 19th Kafkaian, 20th Luizzi, 21st Paul the Resta, 22nd Ambrosia, 23rd Glock, and last place is Adrian Suttle in the Force India. So we are about to go here in the European Grand Prix in Valencia as we now have one, two, three, four, five red lights. And it's not quite yet. It's lights out. And away we go for the European Grand Prix. We are go. Now, come on, you was losing a lot of places down into ninth. We goes, I think, yeah, that's ninth. No, it's ninth. Yeah, yeah ninth places are coming to turn one. And Lotus Renault pushes him off into turn one. There's a few cars off. Jensen Button and Nico Rosberg do both do the same thing into turn one. Now with Michael Schumacher as well. What a start to this race. Come on, you was lost so many places down in 11th, I think. Now coming in through to these um, corners now. Maybe you can get Nico Rosberg back after that turn one incident. He gets him back around the outside. He goes, now the Lotus Renault of... Um, I think that's Vitaly Petrov. We've got an amazing start coming down the inside. And a little bit so, touching there. But it gets the move down the inside. Back up into ninth place. There's a few guys go wide there. And it's another Lotus Renault. And um, I think that's Massa. Yeah, that's Massa. It gets, um, it gets ninth and eighth place now. No, that's sorry. That's seventh place now. Back up into seventh place. So amazing from him. As we now go for sixth place for the way they started on Jensen Button. Can he get the move maybe around the outside, down the inside maybe? No, he's going to go for the outside line, but he can't quite get it. And what a start to this European Grand Prix. Uh, yeah. I think Sebastian Vettel now leads the race coming into turn one. But he's leading the race. Mark Webber will probably be pitting in. But now, um, well, it, well, it's kind of off to pit on the lap one. But this is a 10% race as we go round um, Jensen Button. Round the outside. What a move from combined YouTuber to come up into back up into sixth place where he started. What a start to the race from him. He got a bad start, but has come back. But it's going to cost him in the pit stops, I'm definitely sure. Now coming through the final corner, and he's got Barrichello ahead of him in um, fifth place. As he put Barrichello nearly pushes him off going wide. Very a lot into that corner now. Coming around along the straight. Can he get the move done down the inside? Don't think he quite can down the inside. Maybe not quite. And backs off and waits until the next corner maybe for a move. Maybe. Now trying to go round Barrichello down the inside of Barrichello. Not quite got the spaces, but um, there goes off the um Lotus of Heike Kovalainen. And up into fifth place goes Kovalainen YouTuber. But a sad story for Heike Kovalainen. He was doing so well in the race and loses two positions. Now goes down the inside of Barrichello. Up into fourth, but Barrichello comes back down into fifth again. And there we go for the battle so far. It's been an absolutely brilliant and cracking start to the race. Now I'm going to try and get um maybe Barrichello again coming through here. He hasn't got DRS or anything. It's only lap two. Maybe going for the move. Down the inside and hits the wall. And fortunately, there's no damage on this game. Well, there actually is damage on this game, but he did lose, like, decide to put damage on it. And that has cost him quite a bit there. Um, and Barrichello hasn't gained, gained away that much, but he hits the wall. And that could have made him spun off, maybe. And there could have been some, well... I don't know, contact with other cars that could um, ruin his race. But he's now going to try it. But it's a lucky escape there from Combined Should Come down the inside. A little bit ambitious there. And way too ambitious. And he goes just... I don't think he should have outbraked himself there because it completely went off. It's an ambitious move from Combined YouTuber. And he should have not break that late. Um, he was nowhere near Barrichello. That not, he wasn't near enough to Barrichello to go for the move. And should have not gone down the inside. Now coming into the final corner. Maybe going to go around the in, down the inside. Well, he's coming into the pits anyway. As we go on to lap three, it is now lap three um, of the European Grand Prix coming through with these turns. Now, it's going to be a little bit more better for Command Juve now because now he has more space and has no dirty end his way from other cars. So he will be happy consolidating this position right now, coming through these few corners into turn two, I guess. Yeah, turn two, then turn three. 
now into turn four. I think it is turn four. Turn. Wait, I think this is actually turn six. Sorry, I keep mixing up the corners. I'm thinking to turn six. No, now turn seven. Now into turn eight under the bridge. He goes well over the bridge. Well, on the bridge right now. Sorry. Um. Now coming through into turn nine, and he's got clean space. I think that's Mark Webber ahead of him. I think that's Mark Webber. So I think Combined YouTube is going to be pitting in this lap for onto lap, four, and then going to go for two laps on his tires, and then just um, try and get the best out of his car. But for now, it's just easy to keep going, keep the car on the track. You've got no AI in your way, and he's just got to um, get a gap over the other cars to um, get a good position. Because right now he's in um, third, I think it's third right now. I don't know. Vettel's pulled away quite a bit though. But um, yeah, Kamani YouTuber has um, is in third right now. I think at this point, yeah, I think he is because there's Mark Webber and then it's Sebastian Vettel because the other car's pitted, and he is in third right now. Coming into second gear. I'm definitely sure he's got to make the choice now to come into the pits. And I think this is a pit stop for Goodbye YouTube as we heard on the radio. Now he's coming into the pits for this lap. As we can see the um, symbol there for him coming in the pits. And we heard on the radio as well. He's coming into the pits. Coming on the final corner. Coming into the pits now. Mark Webber. Can he jump him? Can Lotus get a really, really good um, pit stop? Coming into the pits now. Can they be quick enough to change these tyres? They're going for it. It's a five second pit stop. It's a five four. It's five and um, four hundred tenths. But he's had to wait for Mark Webber and he's got back ahead of him. And the combined YouTube is now down into eighth because of that pit stop. Well, um, it could have gone a little bit more better, but I guess just waiting too long cost him. Maybe he was in the um, HRT. I don't know if HRT finished ahead of us. Oh, and there comes Massa. I think that was. And Mark Webber's gone off into the wall as well. Massa just completely went um, down the inside. Uh, no, round the outside. And completely took out, nearly took out combined YouTuber. And Mark Webber went into the wall as well. As we have more drama here in the European Grand Prix. What a race so far. Now going to try and go down the inside. Coming into turn seven maybe. He's going to go for it. He has gone for the move. And he goes wide. And Mark Webber's going to get the space back. He's not going to quite get the move. But they're side by side. And nearly hitting the into the wall. Into the on the bridge part. And he's hit Mark Webber off. And Mark Webber's gone off. I think he tried to go round the outside there. A little bit too bright. A little bit too um, vicious from there from Mark Webber. And he's off the track. And that's cost him a few. That's cost him points. I think he's probably going to be down into 21st by the end of this race. Is um, Kobayashi gets back up into um, his... Um, is in eight, it was in 8th that point, and Kamani Chiba was in ninth, but easily passes round the outside. And, whoa, what the hell happened there? We do not know, but um, he has gone off. Mark Webber is down into 21st. What a disappointing race from him. He was got he got pole, got a bad start, had pitted, and then was close, and then hit the wall, and hit, well, well, they were fighting with combined YouTube, and unfortunately, he came around the outside and tried to go for a brave move that was just not. It wasn't a stupid move, but it was just a little bit too late on the brakes. As now combined YouTuber comes on to um lap the final lap of the race is there as a Toro Rosso. I think that's a Toro Rosso. Was that a McLaren? I do not know. It looked um a little bit like a Toro Rosso because it had the Red Bull um logo on it. It looked like it, but maybe it was a McLaren because it looked a little bit more shiny and white and. Um, Silver as we come into turn one now and combine YouTuber is he going to get the position that he wants some points because Lewis Hamilton right now is in 12th place so it will extend his championship lead a little bit not that much if he got first it would have been better but this is still a solid race for him especially since he got a bad start and you know he's been he got hit hard by Matt Barrichello and well got nearly hit by the um Felipe Massa, I think that was, as he goes a little bit wide there into turn 9, but it's not affected him on the final lap now, he's going to be cruising to it, 8th place, not as good as he wanted, he might have wanted the win, but I think the qualifying definitely affected him, and if he maybe got 2nd in the qualifying, he might have won the race, who knows, but now coming through, and Combined Jeeper is going to go for the win, Sebastian Vettel though, is going to be happy with, not for the win, Combined Jeeper, sorry, going for 8th, but um, Sebastian Vettel is going to be going for the win, he is going to win the race surely, and take a first place, beating his teammate Mark Webber off the line. He will be happy with that here in Valencia. Now, goodbye, YouTuber coming through his final few corners. He's going to easily cruise to a um, eighth place, which is going to be good enough for him to extend his championship lead in the um, drivers. So here it comes. Um, so Bastian Vettel now is coming through and wins the European Grand Prix. 
here comes come on youtuber for eighth place not that far behind of um i think that was high filled in seventh place or was it fitly petrov but come on youtuber yeah it was hell filled so sebastian Vettel wins in the european grand prix from the witsy from Kovalainen, from massa from glock from Carter Kane, then Nick Eiffel, then combined YouTuber, then Nico Rosberg in ninth, and then his teammate Michael Schumacher in the Mercedes rounding out the points. So it's very interesting that they were very far behind, 47 seconds behind his combined YouTuber to Vettel. Now, I wonder if that's a glitch because uh, that looked a little bit weird. But Lewitzi's 34 seconds behind um, Sebastian Vettel on the HRT. So Lewitzi gets some good points for HRT. They will be happy with that. Um, there goes um, the standings Kobayashi in 11th, 12th Hamilton, 13th Alonso, 14th Barrichello, 15th Boemi, 16th for the rest of 17th um, Adrian Suttle, 18th Perez, 19th Button, 20th Mark Webber after that incident with Kumar YouTuber, 21st Malnada, 22nd Petrov, and Brosi in 23rd and last place, Al Jaswar. Well, in the in the drivers now after eight races, it's combined YouTuber still leading the championship. It extended his championship lead to Lewis Hamilton. It's Michael Schumacher in third, his teammate of Nico Rosberg in fourth, fifth Jensen Button, sixth Sebastian Vettel in the drivers as well. He'll be happy with that win. He's got back ahead of Nick Eiffeld now. Hoke Kovalainen up into eighth in the construct and in the drivers, head of Massa in ninth, um, 10th Kobayashi, 11th Weber. He's not very good for him. He's not even in the top 10 for the drivers. Al Jaswari. 12 and he's level on points with Mark Webber, so that could be interesting coming into Britain. Can Mark Webber keep that going? Right, so I'll just so KF Kane and 13th, 14th Lewitzi, 15th Barrichello, 16th Perez, 7th Alonso, 17th sorry, 17th sorry, Alonso, 18th Maldonado, 19th Boemi, 20th Glock, 21st Petrov, 22nd Paul the Resta, Asian Shirt on 23rd, and Brosi on 24th. So Team Lotus, um, are still in the constructors. Um, on top, uh, they are going to be fighting with Mercedes right now, who are in second, being passed by Mercedes, McLaren in third, fourth Red Bull, fifth Ferrari, sixth Lotus Renault, seventh Sauber, HRT in eight, which is good for them, they're ahead of Toro also, and Williams, and then it's the Virgin um, team in 11th, ahead of Force India, they are really struggling this season, as we now go down to show you that Force India are in last place in the Constructors. Disappointing season for them. Yep, there they are. For only four points um, in the Constructors right now. It's been very frustrating for them. I think that, um, you know, the ten points from Virgin, the first points of the season, yeah, definitely opened them up for not last place in the Constructors. Because HRT at eighth. And the Team Lotus, the backmarker teams are doing very well so far this season. They are going to be looking forward to this. So, guys, this is rounding out the... Um, calling from me this is a commentary that um from my youtuber said that i could do and i'm going to be sending this video to him he'll be uploading on his channel so for now guys it's goodbye i will leave you with the um news from him so let's go goodbye driving like this is what proves that combined youtuber has what it takes to be a top class driver if youtuber can push it that extra little bit to the 2011 formula one santander british grand prix then a podium spot is a likely result i can't wait for the next grand prix from all of us at Team Lotus, we'd like to congratulate you on some excellent driving today. We're proud to have you carrying the Team Lotus name so well and hope you are proud we're carrying yours too. We feel our partnership can continue to grow through the season and result in some fantastic wins. Yours sincerely, Lotus Management. YouTuber predicted for Silverstone win. Seeing combined YouTuber on good form this season has made the Team Lotus driver most people's favourite for a win at this week's 2011 Formula 1 Santander British Grand Prix. So, the British Grand Prix is the next race. I can't wait for the British Grand Prix. That is like one of the best races ever. So, see you guys on the next video, which will be the Mario video. And, uh, so no, wait, no, the Mario video is done. So, I think the next video will be a Mario Kart Let's Play. So, <clears throat> see you guys on the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye.